I said a few weeks ago on this show that I thought she was easily the most likely president of the United States. I now think not only is she, because of this as a symptom and a cause, I now think she's not only not easily the most likely, I don't think she's any more the most likely. This is the... It's a big shift. Yeah, it's a big shift. Because of her Because of what this says as a symptom. Exhale. Not as, as a cause, as a symptom. All right, uh, folks, welcome to Give Me Five. This, of course, was Sunday before Hillary's uh, press conference today about her email use. Uh, we played that bite for you yesterday with Mark Halpern and, and Nicole Wallace's reaction. You would think he was the conservative and she was the, uh, the liberal, when in fact it's the other way around. So I don't know what's with Nicole Wallace. Uh, but uh, that roundtable had a lot more to say. Here's some of it. What she is doing here in terms of lack of response, lack of a sense of what people think of her, and com combined with what I thought was an extraordinary weak performance at her Emily Lee's uh, list speech the other day, her husband can get through these things because he's a politician of a lifetime. She cannot, if this is the way she's going to run her operation, if this is the mindset she's going to have, I don't think she's going to be president. Whoa, 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 horsey. Look, I give him credit. Don't forget, he's the one who said on this show that yes, there are death panels in Obamacare. Then he had tried to walk it back. Uh, you could try all you want. Once you say it, you say it. Uh, nonetheless, he's right. Hillary is, a, is not a likable person. Hillary, you know, as phony as Bill Clinton is, uh, he puts on the charm. She tries to put on something, but she's cold. She's icy. She comes across cold and icy and phony from the laugh on down. And she's not smooth. She's not smooth. And things get under her skin. And she's calculated. Um, you know, what can I say? Here's more. Well, the problem with, of course, reporting anything about the Clinton is that we over-exploit it and then we talk about it until we find something else to talk about. It, reporters are looking through the rearview mirror, trying to see if this is any way that she's going to manage her campaign or run the White House. We've known for two years that uh, Secretary Clinton used a private email account. That was the norm for uh, cabinet officials and government officials, and, and yet, you know, we've used this week to talk about how is she going to use this scandal to talk about everything else. I think she will survive it. I think she will overcome it. I think when she announces, if she announces, this will not be part and of the conversation. Be, but By the way, how did Donna Brazil know that Hillary used an e personal email for two years? But Barack Obama found out in the news last week when everyone else did. Boy, maybe Donna Brazil should be calling the President of the United States. Maybe if he'd stop hanging out with Al Sharpton and paid attention and talked to people who know things, maybe it would benefit us all. You want more from the panel? We got it. I think their calculation is, and if you want to know what it's like to run for president as a Republican, watch what Hillary's going through. The media hyperventilation over everything that the Clintons do reminds me so much of how they treated Bush and Cheney and I, I said earlier this week and I, I thought that someone's head was going to explode in the media this is a media problem for her no doubt journalism and journalists view themselves as the safeguard and the guardians of the public interest they think the public has an interest and so do the Republicans on the Benghazi Select Committee but these were emails not encrypted NSA taps they will eventually come out I, 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 don't, I don't know what her problem is. She's comparing the treatment of the Clintons, especially in something like this, where, there's, where it's deserved, the, con the contributions from foreign countries while she's Secretary of State, from countries that, that treat women like dirt, comparing that to, to how the media treated Bush and Cheney? For what? What did they do? I mean, this is, uh, Nicole Wallace should be ashamed of herself. Here's one more. This is not just a political story. What she did with holding documents that therefore were not available for subpoenas or FOIA requests is, is, is regardless of party. That is not a, that I is not something. I disagree with that, and, but, and, and, but, we're talking about political consequences. I think it's no, far no, more we're devastating. Also, we're also talking about what's I, right and how government I think it's far more devastating for her to say to Diane Sawyer, I was flat broke. Yeah. I think all the voters understand yeah. that someone who rides around in a limo for two decades is not flat broke. I think she has real political problems. I'm not sure that, that she, making look, the media mad I, is look, one I'll of just them. Say this has nothing to do with making the media mad. She's not forthcoming to the Benghazi committee, to the public, to who she's accountable. The public's not so dumb, Nicole, that they can't understand that this, these, this email withholding is bad for all of us. Your Newsmax Now updates next.